And as listeners, you know the difference between right and wrong. And I would echo what the President said. A lot is expected of you, a lot has been given to you. You will be officers of the court, you will be entrusted by your clients in so many different ways. And it's important that you not just not betray that trust, but that you're not complacent about it. It's important that you act with honesty and integrity. And as the President said, other than doctors, there's very few of us that reveal so much to anyone else other than our lawyer. And that's a very privileged position to be in. But in that position comes huge responsibility. But wherever it is you practice, it is important, I think, that you're never complacent about what is right and wrong. And this society has an honourable record of upholding the highest standards without fear or favour. And I'm very happy to say that. And that's so important, not just for the legal profession, the solicitor's profession, but very important for our society and our country. Some I hope might consider going into politics. In my lifetime, several Tishi have law degrees. Charles Hawley, Liam Cosgrave, John Bruton, uh, Brian Cannon himself was a solicitor, uh, Gareth Fitzgerald, all of them studied law. And today in the Cabinet we have two ministers uh, who are solicitors. The Minister for Justice, Charles Flanagan, and Minister Madigan, who was the first woman solicitor to sit in the Cabinet. And politics can be hard, it's not for the faint hearted. But as they said in that film, The League of Our Own, it's what's hard that makes it great. Because those of us that have done well do owe to our society to help to fight injustice, not just in our professional life, but in our private life as well. As educated people, you won't be told what to do. You'll question. And don't be lazy about challenging the status quo. We need people in our country and in our world who are prepared to pursue unpopular causes and maybe not so unpopular causes, but we definitely need the perspective of young people, young educated people. When I went into Leinster House, I was 24, I was extremely naive. In that first election, Michael McDougall, that many of you may know, told me I was canvassing on the wrong side of the road. I didn't even know who my constituency was. <laughs> Surround yourself with positive people. There's nothing worse than meeting somebody that's always complaining. And don't let anybody tell you that because you've had an elite education, that you don't know how the ordinary person feels. I object when I see that written. So I work with people you respect. You don't have to, when you're educated and confident, you don't have to work with people that, uh, people you don't respect.